Good morning, folks. Welcome to another video. Well, today we're going to do something I put off for a long time. Try to put gutters on the cottage. Plus, I'd like to be able to collect a bit of rainwater from this roof. So I'm going to be doing this a little unconventional style because it's just me. And so I'm going to be using a variety of kind of what I call MacGyverisms to try to get those gutters up. So stay tuned. You might want to watch this one. So here are the tools we're going to use today. Four plastic garbage bags, four tennis balls, a drill with a Phillips or star bit, two inch nails, two and a half inch Phillips or star screws, a hammer, a caulking gun, and a tube of through the roof sealant. And of course, our nice big 10 foot sturdy ladder we got from Ace Hardware. And of course, our plastic gutter that snaps together in the middle there. And of course, I'm a little worried that's gonna come apart as I put this up. It's not designed to go up as one big long piece. They recommend putting the supports or braces on first and then taking the gutters up one piece at a time and snapping all this mechanism together. No way that's gonna happen. So thus, my being forced as a person with no helper here to try some MacGyverisms. So let's stay tuned and see if they work. So first of all, we're gonna tie one end of the fishing line to the hammer, and this will allow us to create a length of fishing line that we need for this project. And we're going to take and uh, get our tennis ball and then just drop our tennis ball right in the bag. There we go. Now we're going to take our fishing line, tie that around where we made the knot. Okay, well the goal here is to lob this uh, tennis ball in a bag over the roof. So let's see if we can do this. score uh not quite no problem we'll fix it not too big of a deal i'll just tie another short length of fishing line onto uh, that one okay one down and uh, three more to go so now you can see I've lined up the center blocks in anticipation for all the fishing line, and then we'll go from there. So here we go with lobbing number two. Not quite, let's try it again. Definitely not. Jackpot. Beautiful. And the last one. Perfect. Okay, now we've got the fishing line over the top of the roof. Now comes the interesting part. Not sure whether this is gonna work or not. Never tried this, so let's uh, see how it goes. Wish me luck. I think this thing is gonna be like a giant noodle and uh, be super wobbly. Probably gonna cause me a lot of problems, but I don't know. 
I'm hoping it'll stay together. It's just snapped together with and glued with a rubbery type of glue, but the connection's not very solid, so I don't know. We'll see. So now this is where it gets serious. I'm going to tie the fishing line onto the entire length of the gutter and see if I can tie that securely and get it ready to be hoisted up into the position where it's supposed to go. Wish me luck. I think I said that before. I'll need it. So as you can see, I've tied the uh, whole bag, tennis ball and all, into place, and I hope that will hold okay. Okay, it's all strung up and uh, ready to be hoisted. Got everything tied in in four places. This should be interesting. So what we're going to do here is we're going to move each of these cinder blocks out bit by bit, a few inches at a time. And that will, on the other side, raise the gutter higher and higher. That's the goal anyway. Okay, for now, it looks like it's working. Raising it up. Well, that was a lesson in fishing line strength. Uh, both lines right in the middle snapped. Um, I'm puzzled because that was the heaviest gauge of fishing line I could find. So just try to do something different, make uh, the line heavier. I'm gonna use a, a nylon thick rope this time. That should work. Bit by bit, it's going up. We'll see. Wow, almost there. Almost to the top. Fantastic. It's up there. Obviously, I've got to uh, position it a little better, which I can do by getting up on the ladder. But the main part is finished. So the gutter is just a little far to the left. So I'll move the whole gutter down just a little, a few inches. It won't move because there's too much tension on that fishing line that's holding it in place. So I'll go around the other side of the house and move the fishing line. What I didn't want to happen, happened. The fishing line broke on the far eave. All right, let's start all over again. I've lowered the gutter back down to the ground and I'm gonna to try to put those two pieces together just, uh, just enough to hold them together to uh, gradually raise them all over again. So what I did is I doubled up on the fishing line over on that end where it broke and maybe that'll help us here. I'm not sure whether to laugh about all this, like it's kind of a comedy. It is kind of kooky. But uh, first time trying this, and so what I'm learning here is fishing line is great for catching a ginormous fish, not so good for lowering and raising something kind of heavy. 
All right, we're not to be outdone on this. We're going to try harder. What happened here is the fishing line snapped on this side. So I did the same thing. I doubled it up, made it a double thickness. And I'm doing that because I just don't have the time to run off to Home Depot or another place uh, and get some yellow nylon rope, which would be a lot sturdier. Learning curve, of course, next time fishing line's not working, do the nylon rope and that will solve a lot of problems. Okay, I'm gonna go around the other side and start pulling on the center blocks. Here we go, can it be done? I bet you're wondering just as much as I am. <laughs> we'll give it a go. Okay guys, now the plan is to go up the ladder. I'm gonna pre-drill uh, these holes that go into those braces at the top there to hold the gutters in place, those plastic braces. They're already drilled. I already put, uh, put a hole in each one of them, but I'm gonna pre-drill into the wood of the cottage just to make the screws go in a little easier. And I used a really, really fine, fine bit here. I don't know whether you can see it or not. Really fine, because I wanted to get a nice grip on these uh, on these two and a half inch screws. Now it might look like a little bit of overkill, but I just believe with the heavy winds here we have that every bit of purchase I can get to have those gutters solid and in place is going to be valuable. Oh, and I forgot to mention about the caulking. Uh, it's called Through the Roof. And uh, I just want to put that in the holes where the screws are going so that there's no moisture leaking into my building uh, because these screws are probably going to go through the fascia area, area into the building itself. So this uh, caulking should stop any moisture from going in there. So um, I'm going to admit that I tried to be economical and purchase a drill that's just mediocre at best. So what that means is I was not able to get the screws up in the supports for the gutters. So even with pre-drilling. So what I did was I got a really large bit and yeah, it's almost the, the thickness of the screws themselves, but I didn't have any other choice.
So what I did from here, folks, I simply went down the length of the gutter and <laughs> screwed those really large screws into the support braces, which of course then are screwed into the home itself. I was really surprised in the end how sturdy that whole arrangement ended up being. And uh, it certainly has been tested since in severe winds and it has stood up really, really well for part two of this gutter install i will give some prices and give you more information as well well today is an absolutely beautiful summer day here on the property and just a great day to be alive and so i just wanted to um, show you a bit about the breakfast i'm having this morning so i got these awesome farm fresh eggs locally from mark and trudy so Mark and Trudy, thanks as always, and I'm going to get ready to eat breakfast. So the reason I'm showing you my breakfast, if you notice the really cool frying pan I used, that came from a subscriber. His name is Don also. Thank you, Don. Love the frying pan. Boy, it's uh, a heck of a lot better than the horrible beat up Teflon coated thing that I'm not using anymore. So thank you, Don. Mm. Yummy. Wash it down with a bit of orange juice and one super breakfast on a beautiful day. So I I just keep being blown away by, first of all, that people watch this channel. Um, yeah, I'm just stunned. Um, there's over 4,000 subscribers now. <laughs> What is that about? I don't get it, but it's really, really cool. I, I just so appreciate it. And uh, speaking of subscribers, so as the Canadians say, check this out. Subscriber Tanya and her husband Ed from upstate New York said, Don, we love your channel, but your tools suck. So guess what? They didn't just be negative and criticize my tools. <laughs> they sent me this awesome DeWalt driver and drill. So needless to say, the old Craftsman drill I have, hmm, don't know when I'll be using that again. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tanya and Ed. Really thoughtful, blown away. Thank you so much. So if you find these videos interesting, folks, um, click the little notification bell thing. That'll tell you when I've posted a new video. I've been a little uh, late this time posting videos. I was on vacation in the Chiricahua Mountains, birding, looking at Mexican species like elegant trogon and all kinds of other amazing birds. Also, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And I, I'm just dumbfounded how many people um, watch my videos, and I'm just really, really thankful. Thank you so much.